And Wells College says it will be closing for good at the end of the semester because it can no longer afford to stay open after serving as a private liberal arts college for more than 150 years. Here's the latest from News Channel 9. Wells College now becoming the second small school to shut down for good in central New York, with Casanova College closing just last year. These small colleges um, that have closed recently and many others are very dependent on a cohort of high school students from the Northeast for their enrollment. But with other parts of the country growing, there are now fewer college-aged students in the Northeast, resulting in low enrollment. These types of colleges uh, in particular um, are very tuition dependent. And so if their enrollment drops, that has a huge impact on their budget. Just three years ago, Wells reported only having 335 full-time students. The college president says that like many small colleges, Wells has faced enormous challenges, including low enrollment, the pandemic, inflationary pressures, and a negative view towards higher education. What I think uh, people need to understand is that the tuition is high, but they give a lot of it back to students in terms of financial aid in order to try to boost enrollment. Um, and so it's kind of a vicious cycle. As part of an agreement, Wells students will be accepted automatically at Manhattanville. The college says costs will be the same, if not less, than at Wells. Lemoyne will also be working with Wells students to transfer their credits and match their financial aid packages. Students will still need to apply to Lemoyne and meet the college's transfer acceptance criteria. Again, the school will be closing its doors for good at the end of the semester, leaving students only a few weeks to figure out their next steps. At Wells College, Ashley Cafaro, News Channel 9. For more of the latest in local and state news and for your local weather forecasts, be sure to check out our website, cnyhomepage.com. And this sun is sticking around, right, Tim? 